Hello, welcome back. Hey, my name is AJ. When I was learning about scouting, I was confused in Dian Topo. How should I use Dian Topo? But don't worry about it. I am going to discuss about Dian Topo. Dian Topo is the feature that we dynamically update our sculptor's topology to fit in the new shape that we sculpt into the model. Dian Topo helps us to stage polygons and describe how all the geometry of a mesh is interconnect. How many A's do you want to add in your 3D model? Add an UV sphere and switch into the sculpt mode. Press Ctrl D to on and off Dian Topo option. Click and drag here to expand the toolbar. Enable smooth shading checkbox and enable wireframe checkbox. Now here I am taking first detail size, subdivide is and relative details. Most of the people use subdivide is with relative details. Subdivide is used to add mesh details. Subdivide edges work deeply to create a perfect geometry. In relative details, if you zoom out and the edge in your mesh becomes smaller, if you zoom in, the edges become relatively large and you get more edges. Add maximum and minimum edges by increase and decrease detail size. Second, I am taking constant detail in which the detail size remains the same whether you zoom in or out. With this eyedropper, you can set the resolution of your mesh. Now click the eyedropper on a part of your mesh and let's shake it's automatically change the resolution. I am working with the snake hook brush on resolution 30 to create constant extra power. Next is brush detail. This is detail get minimum and maximum edges by increase and decrease detail percentage. In manual detail, detail size doesn't change. It works with the floor fill. Set the resolution size 29 and click on the floor fill. Just convert your edges little bit in large size. Second is collapse edges in refine method. This method used to remove mesh details or reduce some extra edges where you have sculpt. Subdivide collapse. This work like subdivide edges and collapse edges. First, subdivide or edges and then collapse them during the sculpting. Press Shift to L to Z to off overlays option. Dyntopo has some downside. Theory artists have to facing this problem with so sculpting with Dyntopo. Sometimes Dyntopo create holes and create other issue with the surface of the mesh that's happened with me. The word process gets slower while highly detailed sculpting work with slow process make you frustrated. The largest problem is we can't join two objects. Yes, we can't join separate pieces of geometry together. And that's why we have to work with single object. And I hope this was helpful for you. See you again next time. Bye bye.